I want to turn left, but I can't see behind these cars. I can't see whether it's clear. I think it's clear now, and I hope it is. Great, we made it through. I'm Peter Firth, a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Northeastern University. Today we're going to be looking at some of the most dangerous intersections in Boston and what can be done to make them safer. So here we are at the corner of Columbia Road and Dorchester Avenue. That's the intersection in Boston with the most crashes, not counting intersections that are freeway exits. This intersection has a high number of crashes. Well, it's no secret why, because I can point you right now to five things in this intersection that are violations of basic traffic safety principles. The first one is that it's missing a crosswalk. This is a very densely populated area. Lots of people are walking, walking to the shops, walking to the tea. I have crosswalks on three of the legs, but there's no crosswalk on this leg. And it's not just a matter of striping a crosswalk. There is no time in the traffic cycle, in the signal cycle, that you aren't, won't be facing some cars coming pretty fast at you. This mother, she's, she's looking toward us. She wants to come this way. She's hit the button for a walk signal. But she's going to get herself a walk signal not to come to our corner, but to go to that far corner. To get to our corner, the way the crosswalks are designed, she's going to have to make one, two, three crossings. And not many people are willing to do that. The second is the wrong offsets for the left turn lanes. I'm standing in a left turn lane now, and if you look on the other side of me where a black car is waiting, uh, that's the other left turn lane. And is, what we should be is lined up directly, so the left turning cars are facing right at each other, and then when they turn left, they go past each other like this. And I want to know, is somebody coming from the other direction that I might uh, hit? I can't see them because they're blocked by the line of left turning cars opposite me. Another problem is lane imbalance. Here we have two lanes for going straight through. On the receiving side, well, there are two lanes, but for such a short time, quickly one of those lanes is blocked. And then cars have to merge into a single lane. That merge point is a bottleneck from which a backup extends backwards. And when that ba backup goes into the intersection, then it becomes unsafe. There's an amazing amount of traffic coming out of this street, Buttonwood, um, and that's because it's a cut through through the neighborhood for people who want to turn left onto Columbia Road to get to the expressway who don't want to have to go through the light. Uh, but because it's so close to the light at Dorchester Ave, often the queue of cars backs up through this intersection and then you get this crazy out of control uh, situation with cars pushing their way through, pushing their way through. Often uh, they get their way through a couple lanes and then as they try to go through the third lane, a car they couldn't see comes along and boom, you get one crash after another. Jamaica Way is a four lane road, but the lanes are narrow and the road is curved pretty sharply. And if you ask people about it, oh, everybody will say, oh, it's such a dangerous road. It's hard to stay in your lane and you got to worry about the car next to you. Are they staying in their lane? Well, it turns out it's only hard to stay in your lane if you're driving fast. At 35 miles an hour, it is hard to stay in a narrow lane on a curvy road. But if you slow down to the speed limit, 25 miles an hour, all of a sudden you find out it's no problem at all staying in your lane. A few cars in that left lane will go straight. But as soon as there's one car who wants to turn left, that's going to block the left turn lane. Drivers that are stuck behind them are going to want to force their way into the right turn lane. So we get a lot of weaving movements and that will cause crashes. So we get rear end crashes because people aren't expecting somebody to stop. We get weaving crashes because people are frustrated the lane is being blocked. And then we get crashes when people who are turning left, uh, they mi misjudge when it's safe to turn left. The crazy dance that you see cars doing, changing lanes like that, is not an isolated incident. It happens almost every single signal cycle. The, the traffic safety programs of Denmark, of Netherlands, of 
that and other countries like that that we're trying to follow now in Boston. They go beyond let's do the minimum for safety. They say let's follow best practices. Uh, we don't have to wait until the accident rate becomes intolerable. Every life is valuable and if we can make an intersection safer, we need to.